There are two parts to Joomla, the public front end and the back end called administrator. In this lesson, you'll take a tour of the front end to get a feel for how everything fits together. Let's now take a look at the site that has been created. I will refer to these pages as the front end. Joomla sites are displayed using a file called a template. A lot of beginners end up using one of the templates supplied with Joomla. You could also install one of the hundreds of templates available from professional developers or have a unique template designed for you. You will learn more about templates in a later lesson. There are two aspects of a template to consider. Firstly, there is the actual design, which includes elements such as the logo here, the colours, the fonts, number of columns and so forth. These are primarily controlled by the template file and something more advanced developers would be familiar with, cascading style sheets. The second aspect to a template is positions. Think of a template as a bunch of boxes. Each piece of content needs to be placed inside a box. Joomla calls these boxes positions. These positions are determined by the template designer and therefore vary from one template to another. When a particular page is requested, Joomla sticks all these boxes together to form a complete page. Every piece of content that appears on a page has been assigned to a position. I'll show you how to view the positions available in the template lesson. For now though, I'll overlay some boxes on the default Joomla template to give you an idea how this particular template is constructed. Firstly, there is the main body position, which needs to be present in all templates. There are positions at the left. There is another position above this. And one at the top. The second point to understand with the front end is modules. There are two types of content that appear on a page, and I like to refer to these as primary content and secondary content. Your primary content is your main articles. And these appear in the main body position of the page. Secondary content items appear in other positions. Now, each position can contain more than one piece of content, for example, at the left, there are two menus and a login form. That's three pieces of content. Each one of these pieces of content is called a module. There are various types of modules included with Joomla, and I'll discuss how to incorporate them into your site in a later lesson. But let's have a quick look now. In the top position, is a menu module that provides links to other pages. I've already mentioned these left menu modules. The last one provides the ability for registered users to log into the site to view and possibly add additional content. Above the left column is a you are here type of navigation, better known to web developers as a breadcrumb. At the top is a module that allows your site visitors to search your site. There are additional modules built into Joomla and hundreds of third party extensions available. Note also that you can specify that modules appear on all pages or just some pages. These concepts will make more sense as we start to use them, but let's look at a quick summary of the front end. Joomla pages are displayed as a result of a file called a template. Templates consist of design elements and positions. Modules are assigned to positions. They can contain text, just like a normal article, or they might provide specific functionality, such as a menu or a banner ad. In the next lesson, I'll give you an overview of where you control your site and its contents, the Joomla Administrator. Before we move on to the Administrator lesson, let me tell you about our other advanced course called Joomla Pro. This course includes everything from Beyond the Basics, 
plus over 100 more lessons. In this comprehensive course, you'll learn advanced techniques such as how to create blogs, e-commerce sites, membership sites, user registration, security, as well as every Joomla feature. You can either watch online or download the lessons to your local computer. Visit the site now to learn more by clicking the link or button that you'll find on this page.